Welcome back to Zero Escape number nine, number nine, number nine. My name's Kevandre. My name is Bobby. He thought of that joke like five minutes ago, and he's been sitting on it all anxious for us to hit that record button. Yes. Uh, I should have done that last time because last time was number nine episode. Whatever. I'm still going to do it. I make the joke every fucking time in Phoenix Wright when we go to, like, the... What is it? Like, the, the courtroom number nine? Yes. So... I don't even like that quote-unquote song. It's a bad one. And yet, I still say the joke. Yes. Anyway, last time, we finished up the operating uh, room, the yes. escape room, uh, by swapping everything except for the head, heart, and the one of the arms. Um, and then we talked about lock socks and two smoking barrels. And then... Um, you don't even like that movie. I haven't even seen that movie. You wouldn't I, like it. I don't talk shit about it. At all. Do you like Snatch? I don't really like Snatch. Then you won't like Lock, There were, there were parts of Snatch that I did enjoy, but I did turn on the subtitles. <laughs> because that might as well be a uh, subbed anime. On, um, the, uh, on the DVD, there was a bit to where you could get uh, just the Pikey subtitles, so that way you could figure out what the fuck they were saying. And in the one bit where Brad Pitt starts describing the blue caravan, the subtitle person just gives up, and he's just like, question marks. I, I don't know what he's saying. <laughs> yeah, nobody does. He's probably not saying a fucking thing. No, he's describing, like, attachments to the caravan. You can make out some of the words if you listen closely and listen to it over and over and over and over again. It's just, who the fuck wants to translate Pikey all day? Yeah. But we also learned about the, uh, the Moscow Underground. Um... And yeah, that Seven's a part of, apparently. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and um, he hangs out with Putin all the time. Right, you get the St. Petersburg 500. <laughs> right? Uh, what was it? The, was it the Moscow Derby with the yeah, horses? Yeah, the, the Moscow Derby. Yeah, There's the, no with, cows in Moscow. Right, with the, uh, the horses that Putin is on, all of them, yes. all at once. Because he has many clones. Um, <laughs> and then, uh, so then afterwards, we, we reconvened with everybody except for Snake. Um, Ace, Seven, and Clover went through the number three door. Lotus and Santa are exploring through the Earth door, and we're about to go into the... Is that Saturn elevators? I believe so. So yeah, uh, Junpei and June are about to go into the elevators to explore the ship while the other three are in the number three door. Sorry, I was distracted thinking about Girl Scout cookies. I already finished a whole fucking box of those Samoas. Yes, Garrison, they are the best. In before you start talking shit. <laughs> Hi, he doesn't Garrison. like Samoas. He's wrong. Who doesn't the fuck? He's a like fucking him? moron. I know. Like some people. We're talking shit about our one fan. Hi, one fan. You're <laughs> wrong. <laughs> Not just for liking us, because, you know. Yeah, that's, that's pretty wrong. Yeah. But, but also, Samoas, Samoas are, are the shit, dude. We bought four boxes. Yeah. I already yeah. ate one. Same. Oops. <laughs> anyway, let's get going. Uh, and we already said this line, but let's say it again for continuity. So, there's a card reader next to the left elevator. And let's try out the Saturn key card. Dope. Dope AF. Great. Looks like it's working now. All right. Now, how do I call the elevator? I you, don't know. You, is it the giant green button? You dial zero. <laughs> hey, nice. you sound older. <laughs> oh, it only has the upside down triangle on it. I guess there's no up button. Well, we may as well try pushing this one. There's a girl outside of Walmart singing a little, like, silly tune. No, don't put that back in my head. Right? It was adorable. I'm not going to sing it, because... It, oh, it's I, too late now. Yeah. Now it's in my head again. I hadn't even thought about it. Right? You fucking it was, ass. It was pretty catchy. I think we got to go back it and was, get more girls. It, she was singing, Girl Scout Cookies... And then that would not leave my head the entire time I was in Walmart. She was a very effective advertising lady. Yeah, she was just standing on the corner, kind of like rocking back and forth. And, yeah. Just like my papa, papa, it was kind of, It was double effective because she was standing, like, right near the walking path. So that way you had to kind of stop to see if she was about to cross. Yeah. And then it's just like, oh, no, she's just selling Girl Scout cookies. And now I want Girl Scout cookies. Yeah. And, well, I, we were going to buy them anyway. but We were going to buy them. Still. <laughs> it, it opened. Look, Jumpy. Sweet, it opened. Let's get going. B wait What? I'm not really... Uh, I just... Oh, gosh. <laughs> June was probably afraid of being locked up alone with a boy, or they could only go down. Uh, look, I've heard the song Love in an Elevator. You know, 
get it up when you're going down. Yeah. So. <laughs> well, we will be all alone in here. <laughs> <laughs> Jumpy? Uh, huh? Oh, nothing. It's not important. Come on, let's go. I said, wait a minute. Why? Aren't you afraid, Jumpy? Afraid of what? Well, I've never, you know, the elevator monsters. It's your first time? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> I might get wet. <laughs> I've posted this screenshot and out of context like three or four times. Because every time every time I've replayed this game, which this must be like the fourth time, I, I take a screenshot and then I put it on out of context. So where's the screenshot being taken? What the fuck? Whoa. What'd you do? There we go. Okay. Uh, we just haven't used this account before. Oh. So it's, okay. it's telling us all the things of how you use a PlayStation. Oh, well, that's annoying. I don't know. Anyway. Did you say it? Yes. Wh what? Down there. I get soaking wet. Same. <laughs> well, I mean, of course you would. That's the way it works. I mean, I've never heard of anyone getting soaking wet somewhere else. Uh, petition for when we do redo scenes, we should redo this one with the sound on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I agree. That's... That's true. You don't mind? Mind what? Getting wet? Well, I don't know. I think I'd probably, you know, like it. Gosh, Jumpy, you're so brave. Really? I mean, I kind of think any guy would do the same thing, you know. What happens, happens, right? If you get the chance, you just gotta go for it. That's what a man's supposed to do. I <laughs> guess... You're, you're so cool, Jumpy. I really admire you. Uh, that doesn't really seem like the side of thing that you should uh, admire someone for. I'm... I'm really scared. Yeah, I mean, like you said, you've never done it before. Yes. So I don't think I'll be able to last very long, and then uh, it'll be over. Same. <laughs> uh, over? Yes. I'll go to heaven. Oh shit. Heaven? What the fuck? It feels kind of like you're floating in space, and your mind gets all fuzzy, like when you pass out. At least, that's what I've heard from people who have experienced it. Uh, uh, yes, I've heard that too. Although I don't think the same thing happens to guys. What? <laughs> huh? <laughs> but it would happen to men too, wouldn't it? It would happen to anyone. Once it gets into your body, the same thing happens to everyone. <laughs> well, I mean, usually wow. it doesn't go inside the man. I mean, generally. Yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is your kind of girl. Yeah, uh, all right. okay, this is this is classic Uchikoshi. Yeah. This particular scene is why I would know any Uchikoshi game if I was reading it and playing it. Gotcha. The Somnium Files is just like this. Just a whole bunch of uh, Also the other Zero Escape games. And I'm like, yes. <laughs> oh my. Oh, why do I have to say this line? Yes, please. Well, eventually it will. It's not like you really have a choice. Your body will force you to swallow some of it eventually. Speaking of, I uh, I was scrolling through Amazon looking for desk hutches, and then like I was looking at all of those, and then all of a sudden one of those things on there was a book saying how to swallow, and I guess it's just an erotica book. I have no idea why I was in the middle of looking for desk hutches, but I sent a screenshot to Garrison, and he's, he's just assuming that that's what I'm into now. I'm yes. like, you think that I would pay for erotica when there's a thousand gajillion Harry Potter eroticas for free? I'm gonna do that. Why did you have to specify Harry Potter? Why would I read anything else? There's Moving. no other good fan fiction. <laughs> Except for Pokemon a couple times back in the day, but mostly Harry Potter. Dresden, I mean, Dresden Files fan fiction sucks. I, I suppose. Unless maybe. I'm writing it, in which case it's probably good. There's some good Avatar The Last Airbender fan fiction. You know, I've never, uh, you know, I have read that, and it was erotica. It was a fine, uh, Toph Sokka Suki. A girl I, uh, a girl I worked with doing server repairs, she used to write, uh, Slow Burn. 
And most of the time, it was stuff I wasn't interested about. But she did Atla one that I was like, well, damn. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry for new viewers. Um, anyway, let's continue. Yes, I also apologize for our existence. Uh, anyway, regarding swallowing. <laughs> what, what are you trying to do to me? <laughs> Nothing. I'm not going to do anything to you. I'm going to pay someone else to do it. Uh, I'm just saying that's what happens. It's a psychological reaction to what you're experiencing. Is that so? I know most men probably have larger lungs, but... Even then, I don't think you could hold your breath for 20 or even 10 minutes. Eventually, you'd have to breathe, and then the water would get into your lungs. Once that happens, your body won't be able to get oxygen anymore, and you'll start to feel that floaty feeling as you pass out. Uh. 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 <laughs> 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 yeah, you're right. You wouldn't last very long. See? <laughs> the fuck were you talking Come about? Come to think of it, the lower floor, the deck is completely underwater. An elevator heading to submerged floor, that is pretty scary. Hey, wait a minute. This elevator came up from somewhere under us, right? Uh, well, yes, I guess it did. It didn't open right away after you pressed the button. There was a motor noise, like it was moving, and then it opened. Yeah, exactly. Yes. So take a look inside. It's my dick in a box. <laughs> it's not wet at all, is it? The walls and even the floor are totally dry. Oh, you're right. They are. They're drier than me after talking to you. <laughs> well, let's test it. Test it? Yeah, watch this. Now, I'll just put one foot inside the elevator and look at the buttons. Oh, there's only two. E and C. All right, I'll push E. 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 I, oh. I, I think I can hear it opening on E deck. Okay, that's done. Now I'll just press the button again. Just the shining blood just comes out. Yeah. You know how that happens with every elevator. Yep, not a single drop of water be seen. See? What does that mean? How can the E-deck be safe if the D-deck is full of water? Well, here's what I think. The elevator shaft and E-deck must be watertight and separated from whatever wherever the ship's been punctured. Here, let me show you. Where did he get a sharpie? I see. So this is why the ship hasn't sunk. I'm not sure why it was a sharpie noise, but he's clearly had a pen since he's got like a notebook. So, I don't know. Who knows? Magic. Got it. Yes. The shape of the inside keeps it from all filling with water? Yeah, I think that's what's going on. So I'm going to go down and check it out. You stay here, all right? Go down, down, and only around. Um, but... Come on, just do it, alright? Make your dreams come true. Don't let your dreams be memes. I I'm coming with you! Huh? We're coming at the same time, damn it! Hey, wait! <laughs> <laughs> ah, crap, it closed. I can't just let you go alone, you know? Oh, just in the dark with you. Jeez. I'm suave Junfei now. Yeah. <laughs> Is that a astrological key in your pocket? Or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it looks normal. Hmm. Oh, knock it off. It's just like I thought. This part hasn't been flooded. Come on, just look around. There's no water here. Ha! You're right. It's not flooded at all. Same. But there's a whole lot of water. Yeah, right on top of us. What's going to happen if the ceiling breaks? Well, we'd probably get really wet up there. Uh-huh. At any rate, we should probably go back as soon as we can, once we're done looking around down here. Lotus and Santa might already be back. We've been talking in fucking doublespeak for forever. Yeah. Okay, good idea. Now then. Kim Tor. Iron bars. Well, we can't go over there, even though it looks like you could easily fit through those bars. 
Yeah, it shouldn't be a problem at all. Just squeeze on through. <gasps> right. Then maybe... No, nope, not making the joke again. Then maybe we turn around and see what's on the other side. No. Yeah. Well, it looks like there's a long, straight hallway down this way. Something's written on the door at the end. Wait, is that... Let's check. I mean, you couldn't tell from all the way over there. I knew it. This is a numbered door. But we can't do anything with only the two of us. We better head back and let everyone know. Yes. Wait, what's this? Is this the map for E-Deck? I should take it with me. Huh, so you guys found door one. So now we've located two new doors, the six door and the one door. It is interesting that E-Deck wasn't flooded. Well, we don't really know if all of E-Deck is safe. We only checked the area around the elevator. Even so, it's still very interesting. You said the six door was there, right? Yes. Then that means Zero planned all this out. Even the sinking. That would have meant some pretty serious remodeling of the ship's interior. It's pretty mind-blowing when you think about it. Yeah, I wonder how long it took. I can't even imagine how much it must have cost. It would have been a ton, that's for sure. Well, that does go along with what Ace was saying. Eh, fuck Ace. The most reasonable explanation would be that this was done by some organization with access to a whole lot of cash. Fat stacks. Yes, it does make sense. D-Deck is flooded because that's where they make it rain. The deck <laughs> Ellipses. Ellipses. Motherfucking ellipses. Ellipses. All of those ellipses. Just for you, the viewer. Anyways. Um. Yeah? Um. I don't think it's a very good idea to stay here. Yeah, let's go back to where they're going to come out. Yeah, you're right. Ace and his team might be back already. Well, June, Junpei, and I should be able to open door one. Huh? You guys leaving me behind? Just kidding. Alright, let's go. The scary door. Hey, where the hell did you guys go? Where the fuck we want? Calm Seven. down, Russian. Ellipsis. Ellipses. What's wrong? What happened? What the hell kind of question is that? Snake was... Snake is... Snake is dead. He died just as the ninth man did. Oh my god! That's not true, is it? We should make sure. Y yeah, right. We should. I don't think he's actually dead. Wait, not that way. What? Why not? I stuck screwdriver in there just to keep the door from closing all the way. It's not locked, so you can go in that way. Where is... Where is he? The shower room on the left side of the hallway. I put the broom in there, too, to keep the door open. That means we can get in without going through the numbered door, right? Yeah, that's right. Well, let's... Oh, then let's go. <laughs> this wasn't open when we passed here before. Well, let's keep going. Ugh, it smells horrible. Yeah, this is pretty awful. I feel like I'm gonna puke. Where is he? Where's Snake? Oh shit. There. June, you should stay here. Well, it's a good thing he wrote some shit on the wall, you know. But... Please, just do me a favor, okay? Alright. I'm going in. I'm in. Ellipses. Ellipses. I don't know why we say the ellipses. Look, it's better than just going... Oh. Yeah, I, I suppose. Ellipses! <laughs> I like it. Just like he said. Just like the ninth man. The detonator in his bracelet set off the bomb in his gut. Oh god, the bone is coming out of his left arm. It's definitely an open fracture. That's a way to word it. 
The face, it's horrible. Yeah, you can't even tell who it is. But the clothes are... No mistake about that, it's Snake. No, it isn't. <laughs> I'm calling it now, not even close to being Snake. Not even close to Snake. Yeah, it's Raiden. Oh no, that's way worse! <laughs> My hero Raiden! Why? Why is he your hero? I like Raiden. You're so fucking weird. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is a, a very sad time. Snake was probably murdered. Chances are he was killed the same way the Ninth Man was. It's pretty straightforward. Not yet hard to figure out how they did it. First, the killers got Snake to authenticate on the red to open the door three. Then they shoved him into it alone and waited nine seconds for the door to shut. Once that door shut, it was all over for Snake, but he didn't give up. He probably knew it he wouldn't do any good, but he probably ran into the shower room looking for the dead. It was a small chance, but it wasn't like he had anything to lose. Unfortunately, it did not work. The detonator is only activated if everybody who authenticated when they went in uses the dead. Snake was the only one who went through the door. And then 81 seconds after he was shoved in, that happened. I see. So that's what you mean by killers, huh? You need at least three people to open one of the numbered doors, including Snake. It wouldn't open for Snake and a single killer. Duh. That means we're looking at multiple perps here. Well, just in case, I want to make sure. Let's say you're right. When do you think Snake was killed? When we all split up to look for the parts of the reds, I think. Right after that was when we noticed he was gun. Then that means none of us have alibis. We were all off searching the rooms when we'd been assigned looking for those parts. Duh. That means anybody could be killer. Wait a minute. What are you talking about? How can you say that so casually? You're implying that one of us is a killer. No, it's two. Well, not just one of us. If I'm right, then at least two of us are murderers. Why don't you just calm down a bit, Seven? What are you going to gain by being so suspicious? That's what Zero wants, you know? What Zero wants? Exactly. This game was set up by Zero, wasn't it? I thought you were going to chime in with the cut. Never mind. Oh, do, do, it, do, do. You know, It's too late now. The comedic timing is past. Bitch, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Any game has a winner and a loser. Whoever makes it through door nine is a winner, and those who aren't are the losers. Zero is trying to make us fight against one another for that victory. Then you're saying that Zero is trying to split us up by making us fight each other. Yes. That is why we can't let ourselves fall prey to suspicion. We have to trust one another and form a strong bond of friendship. Otherwise, we'll end up instead by Zero's manipulations. Then does that mean that the person who killed Snake... Yes, almost certainly Zero himself. If there's anyone we should doubt, it should be Zero. He masterminded this game and kidnapped all of us. Doesn't it seem reasonable that he would have killed Snake as well? Quit jumping to conclusions. Do your knees hurt from all that jumping to conclusions? <laughs> hmm. Oh, such a great show. Good question. If Zero killed Snake, then Zero is on the ship with us. Was Zero still on the ship with them? Bitch, I might be. Is Junpei sure or not? I'm... That's a good question. Was Zero still on the ship with them? I'm personally... Not sure, but I'm willing to bet. Can we just do? Wasn't sure because we're gonna have to repeat the scene anyway. I'm sure. Oh yeah. Right, so right, we'll right, see. Right. We'll see both of these options. All right. So let's go with wasn't right. sure. Something's still strange in the neighborhood. Hmm. What was that? Well, I'm just wondering about one thing. And what's that? How can you be so sure that Zero's on this ship? Really, Junpei? I confess, I'm a little disappointed. Usually, you're rather shy. Isn't it obvious? Some of my pizzas are gone. <laughs> Wait, it is? This shit. Huh? Zero said this shit several times when he addressed us. I'm talking about this ship. Okay. I am Zero, the captain of this ship. The purpose of the game is simple. 
leave this ship alive. As you have no doubt surmised, this ship has begun to sink. If he weren't here, he wouldn't be able to say this ship, would he? He'd be saying something like that ship, or this ship. Bitch, I'm tricky. <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. If Zero's on the ship, where is he? WHERE IS HE?! <laughs> I think... I think Zero is... one of us. Whoa! See, now, a part of me was like, that might be a twist, but another part is like, kinda too obvious. Yeah. Kinda too obvious, right? Could be I, I, I think we got closer to like a, a Saw scenario, to where somebody started this game, and then one of the survivors from the last game is taking over this, and it just kind of like goes down, and it's like a little chain game. Like, cause she was gonna tell us about nine years ago, on this ship. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. So you know, was he one of them? That's possible, but that's crazy. I'm gonna say that's crazy. That's cray cray. That's cray cray. Why are you acting so cray cray? Isn't this ship gonna sink in a few hours? If Zero was here with us, he'd be putting himself in danger. Why the hell would he do something like that? There's no motive. You don't believe me. Ellipsis. Ellipses. Uh. Well, Zero can't get off the ship, too. Clover, I... Clover, I understand what you're feeling. You don't feel that you can trust any of us. But you have to understand. The more we distrust one another, the further we fall into our true foe's trap. Zero was the one who did these horrible things to your brother. Do you want to let yourself be manipulated by someone who would do such a horrible thing? Hmm. So what if... Zero isn't one of them, but Zero is stuck on the ship with them? Possibly. Okay. Yeah. I got ideas going. Anyways. Yeah, he's got ideas. See, I know things, but I'm going to be non-committal with pretty much everything. Yeah. Little bitch. So, if, you, if I lead you one way or the other, do not assume that that is me actually spoiling a fucking thing for this game. Yeah, he's being sneaky. I am being sneaky. So, there's that. Anyways. Anyway. It's three in the morning. And that's probably a good place <laughs> to call it. Yeah, sounds good. So, uh, we're going to do some shoutouts now, and next time, we're going to decide between our next rooms... Yeah. Here. It's going to be exciting. Yeah. But yeah, uh, let's do some shout outs. I'm going to take a. Snake can't be dead. I'm going to take. <laughs> you know, I still got to do my snake voice at some snake. point. Come on, Morel. You got to be, really, you know. I got to be able to say Colonel at least to some point. Yeah. So. Now that we're done with Phoenix, you can't just, you know, abandon the snake voice because next time we get into Phoenix, you know, it's going to be all wrong. It's right. going to sound like you for Sutherland. And. <laughs> <laughs> And nobody wants that. <laughs> nobody wants that. Uh, anyway, so I'm going to take a break from doing shoutouts to voice actors. I think I did most of the main ones from this game, but I'm going to have to double check that one later. Um, I'm going to do a shout out to, and I'm going to say this wrong, Satyr Art. Um, it's S E I T Y R Art on Twitter. Um, I saw that he did a bunch of uh, Fire Emblem art and I enjoyed it. And then suddenly I noticed that commissions were open, so I'm like, I'm going to do that. So I commissioned him to make a, uh, a picture of Time Skip Annette from Three Houses uh, in the dancer outfit, dancing with steaks and cakes in the background. And this is the result, and it's fabulous. Um, I was posting it right here, so that way you can enjoy it. Exactly. So yeah, I, I commissioned that. Uh, he delivered, and I love it. I had it printed on Vistaprint, and I got approval from him first to do that. Um, and then I also have it as my wallpaper right now. I really like the art. It's really good detail, and I love Annette, and I think that he captured her very well. Nice. Um, so I'm, I'm basically just waiting until his, his commissions are open again, and so I'm going to get Nina from Fates next time. Very nice. Um, I haven't quite decided on the pose and stuff for that yet, but I'm going to. Um, anyway, so, yeah, uh, I, I really like his art. It's really good. Um, go check him out. What about, like, Nina doing the uh, wall slam pose to, like, Bernadetta or something like that? Well... You, you know, uh, shipping it cross games? That's an idea, though Nina's super not a lesbian. 
but she could be. She loves Yaoi more than anything. That's like her main thing. That's nice. I don't know. It's something I'm going to consider. Like, maybe maybe her spying on, like, men from above or something. Yes. I don't know. I, I'll have to figure something out. There are ideas. Anyways, my shout-out is going to go towards a, another retailer online, uh, knifemerchant.com. Now, this is another one that specializes in, like, Japanese-style knives, which is sort of what I'm going for, what I am buying right now to get the dimensions of and experiment with and figure out what I want to make. And they have a whole bunch of other brands that, like, Chef Knives to Go may not have access to. And Knife Merchant also has, like, a house brand that they made. That's pretty damn good. Uh, so I've bought some knives from them. I think they have great tutorials on YouTube, too. Some of their stuff is a bit, like, you know, fluffy, sales rep kind of stuff. It's like, uh, whatever. But uh, there's good stuff in there as well. So, yeah, I just want to give them a shout-out. They've had excellent service with me so far. I've liked what I've bought from them. So... If you're looking for, like, Japanese knives, the higher end just kitchen knives, they're a place to go to. They got some good shit. Can I also say that Santa's outfit is ridiculous? Uh, like, yes. The, the more I look at it, the more I'm like, how? With this, like, it's clearly, like, a cut-off sleeve that works because the the bracelet is there. But, like, the other arm, he's just got, like, a bunch of random, like, tattered something. And, like, he's got, like, this really thin, long scarf that does absolutely nothing for him. Well, the other sleeve in the arm band, you know, that's pretty much just elastic. It's like leggings. You know, it just kind of shrinks onto there. Yeah, it's very strange. Yeah, he scrunches it up a bit intentionally to make it look cool. And, you know, he's got that sh- disheveled appearance. But, yeah. And the scarf does absolutely nothing. Yeah. He's a weird Especially one. with a tank top on. I, uh, you're a strange one, Santaman. Yes. Anyway. Yes, he is. See you guys next time. Thanks so much. Bye.